Now I'm going to attach my E row to the other four rows that I already have assembled. So this is the back of my quilt and all of the papers are out in here except for the very side sashings. So the cornerstones and the sashings on the very outside edge are all still in there. But all the other papers have been removed because once you've surrounded a piece completely from English paper piecing, then you can remove the papers. My E-Row papers are all still in there. So I can remove some of them, but to me it's easier just to do them all at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up this row and I'm going to put my tape right on these sashings and I'm also going to put a piece in the middle here and I've done that down here so that this is lined up and every, every cornerstone and I will continue to do this. This will hold it together as best it will and then I will sit on the table and stitch it together. Okay, so I've started stitching my row here, and I've had a heck of a time because this piece can't come out until it's connected on all four sides. So I've done that to this, and I can take it out. But what I've noticed is that if I don't take out some of the papers as I go down, then it's hard for me to take my left hand and hold it, and it starts to come apart because it's so rigid. So I'll take out any papers that, that don't border this part. So in this block, I can take out all of this. These three have to stay in because they're not attached yet, but these can all come out. And on this one, these, this one too has to stay in, but this whole top row has to stay in, but all these can come out. And this will give me room to grab it and hold it so that I can guide my, because I like to hold it, and guide my fabric as I go but what's happening is it's coming untaped because I don't I have all of the papers in and if it comes untaped it's going to start not lining up correctly just like when you're doing the little pieces you want to start at one end to secure it and then start at the other end but in this case I'll do a few blocks and then I'll probably go start back or something all right so I did the section on the other end of this from E1 to E4 with a lot of difficulty, um, especially the fact that I had to leave a lot of the papers in. So I started down here at E13, and I have gotten as far as the beginning of E9 right here with one thread, and I haven't had to take any of the papers out. Um, my technique has had to be different because I've now this is the fifth row and it's grown beyond the point where I can handle it easily. So at this point, I am going to suggest that I work from this end over because that way I can hang on to this side with my left hand and I can still have it be malleable enough to hang on to it and secure this side with, the, with, um, with my needle and get a proper stitch. Um, as I did that, and so it's coming apart just because I folded it there. But this is a lot easier to not have to worry about taking any papers out until you're done. So up until this row, it hasn't been an issue. But now that I've got four rows attached and I'm attaching a fifth, I think going from here on in, I'm going to have it where my papers are on my dominant hand side. So well, in my case, my right hand and my... Um, removed paper section is going to be on my least dominant hand, which is my left hand. Also, as a matter of point, I'm going to take out the papers from these blocks just because then I can wad it up in my lap a lot easier so that I can have 10, 11, 12, and 13 be flimsy or flexible, I guess would be a better word to say, so that I can work on E9 to E4 because that section I haven't attached yet. So I finally finished attaching my E row to the other four rows that I have already completed and assembled. And I've even had the chance to take the papers out. And if you had questions about how to take papers out, um, I have a removing your papers video available as well. 
Um, however, I do leave the papers in for the sashing because you have to leave the papers that they're on the edge. So my papers are still in my cornerstones and my sashings all the way around my perimeter that I have assembled. Whoops. That I have assembled now.